So this morning, I'm just going to be doing some work this morning with Ellie. Um, going to try doing the same kind of stuff I did, I think, yesterday. I can't remember. No, I didn't ride yesterday. I was out. Doing the same stuff I did two days ago. I'm just going to do some more work. Going a little bit quicker. A bit heavier exercise than what we're used to. What we've been doing recently. I'm going to mount on the opposite side to what most people mount on. So to right, my left. So I think that's what goes on. I'm not very good with right. Okay. Because it's not, not the usual side that most people get on. So that went well. Stop. Ask you to drop and just release and relax. Those front end muscles, nice rub, and indicate to walk on. I'm going to do a nice disengagement of the hind end. Oops. Come here. Good job. And we're going to do this side now. the two. If I'm tapping, that means we want a disengagement. Yes. Good girl. So that was pretty good. Got a head nice and low. Actually a little too low. Lift her up a little and we'll walk on. Good girl. So so far she's in a really nice frame of mind. And that is really good for me, making me feel far more confident than what I was a little while ago. So before I rode, I was very, very nervous this morning. And uh, feeling more confident. going to benefit from this today in a great way. It's really good. Now I'm going to ask her to trot a little. And I'm just going to sit back for a little trot. Trot, just a little. She's remembering what we did yesterday. Not yesterday, day before. So I wanted to first of all trotting. She's doing that herself, which is really nice. Um, and I'm not going to stop her because I, I haven't asked her to not stop, so... Just want to get this to some turns while we're moving. Turns while we're moving. Good girl. And do all practices for when we're out. Bob something or move quick or get out of something's way. We're going to be prepared and ready to go. 
go one side. Whoa. Whoa. Not opening my seat there. So that, that's what we've got to work on a bit more, the seat end of things. I'm listening to that. Oh. So she says, I'll take that one. Take that. The walk. Now for the walk. Good. Just going to sit for a second, enjoy the moment, the quietness, and I'm going to move my foot up and down so she's again experiencing things that may happen if something was to fall on her bum suddenly, something happened, she wouldn't be frightened as much because she's used to being tucked there. So it wouldn't be so scary as what it would be if she wasn't. So if you're used to people coming up behind you and touching you, you don't freak out. If you're like me, whenever someone comes up behind me and grabs me, it's not a good result. <laughs> You're best not to do that with me. You might end up on the floor. I'll just freak you right out. But anyway, um, desensitisation is the key. As if, I, if I did football for a couple of years and the kids being tackled and touched from behind and stuff, I probably wouldn't care, I wouldn't react. And wool. And wool. Good girl. That's very lovely. We'll try our backing. See how we go with back. Let's just see how long it takes her to figure out she needs to back. Good. 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 Back. Back. Bit of a release of pressure there. Back. Good girl. There we go. So she did really well that time with backing. There wasn't too much of a forward motion. Try again. Back. And what we want to do is get it to a point where all I've got to do is just touch lightly on here and she'll back up. And that takes a bit of time with some horses. Some horses pick it up immediately. Others it takes a bit of training. So she's not one who really enjoys backing very much. But I also need to teach her that whenever my reins are up here, if I back them up here, that's still the same, same point. It's easier to teach once you've taught them down below. There we go. See, she's a bit different when my reins are up higher. So if I have my reins further down, she tends to understand it quicker and easier. Back and back. We don't want to make her mouth go hard by doing too much and confusing her, making her think she's not doing the right thing by not giving her a release. So we'll sit back a couple more steps and then we'll stop and let her think about that. Let's chew and flick. She's thinking, oh! that and is well-mannered about it and 
for a youngster, this girl is really quite superb actually. And um, she's really getting, the more that we work, the better she's getting. And the neck line is just getting really good. So I'm just gently tapping to the side. I'm just trying to get her to really listen to that. If I need to go a little bit harder, I will. But we're going to go to the side. Touch on the side. Just even just tapping with the fingers. Like so. And she's going around. Tapping again. The fingers. And she can feel that. And that's just so much nicer than fighting with a horse. Pulling and fighting. Oh. Poor bear. With a horse. That's why you need to be very clear on your cues that you're teaching. And try to remember, most young people won't have this problem, but when you get a bit older, your memory's not as good. And I sometimes can't remember what I did the last time to get to, get some, somewhere. And I'll go get on, and it takes me a moment or so to really realise I didn't do that. Just, that's not what I did to get her to do this. I've got to think about, I know I needed to do what I needed to do. So... Um, thinking about that is, oh, and I didn't ask her to move, so we're going to go and stop him. And she's already taken a step back, so let's back again. You don't want to have to back every single time we stop. Whoa, good girl. She's actually backing with a very little force now, just the tiniest little nibble. And she's going back. Back. Good girl. And that's fantastic. That is fantastic. It is so much better than what we have been having over the last few days. The girl came down over. Let me go forwards again. And I am starting to never really have to do too much with pulling on the reins at all now. I really want her to be working with me in a mindful way where we're both knowing exactly where we want to go. Me using my body and my weight to let her know what way I want to go. So just shifting my weight slightly. I'll keep him centered. You don't want to come off because you're not centered. And we're gonna wall here. And drop, 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 drop. Good girl. And there we have a very good response from her again. Now I'm going to start getting into a little bit of work, a bit of trotting and moving forward and some actual muscle work. So those things are great when you're in a for a little walk, but what happens when you, well, when you start to do a bit of a faster movement is she listening to those things? I want her to really be understanding my cues, what I'm asking for her to do. Good girl. And she's doing really well today. She's anticipating though. Don't always like it when they anticipate everything. Don't mind them anticipating things if you've got a jumping course you've got to do or something like that. Whoop. I'm going to stop for a second, just have a break, have a think about what we just did. What did we just do? So, well, I don't know. I'm a bit irritated about the flies, I think. We've had no flies and then all of a sudden, day's a bit warmer. So, we've got some flies happening again. I'm just going to get her to stand. Well, I actually moved my hands forward then and I just realised that it, that's what I did. Sometimes you can train them too well <laughs> and they can be, as soon as you move your hand, they'll be at it. So, we'll see how we go. And 
go around this side. This direction. Good girl. And wolves. And wolves. And wolves. So it's the stopping I've got to really work on. And I will work on over the next few weeks. Just getting her to come to a good stop. What I don't want to do is go yanking on the mouth and hurt her. I want her to learn some gentle pressure. These things can take time. So I do notice though, if I do a practice practice at backing up, so whoop, we'll just start to take off and we go back. Back. Practice at backing. Good girl. Like that. Yeah, well, well, so now she doesn't want to do that. She's going to go back now and stand. Good girl. So if you practice at backing, then when you go to do your stops, usually the mouth is much better because they'll stop a lot easier than if they haven't been backed. Because when they learn to back, that pressure teaches them while well, stopping back. So automatically their, mouth, their, their head will go to, oh, stop. Back. Now, that will help you when you're going out and the trails and you need to slow down and stop. If your cue isn't working, if your seat's not working properly, if you're trying to get your seat to sit and go back, I tend to put my bum down heavily and slap slightly back and have my feet slightly forward when I want her to stop. I don't always remember to do it though and it doesn't always work. But sometimes when I've been riding for a while or more consistently and doing the same things every day for several days, she just gets to a point where she immediately will stop as soon as I even think about stopping, she just reads my body and stops. And I'd like that to happen all the time, whether I've ridden her every day or I've left it a month. This is what we're aiming for. So young horses do take time. They're, they're still young in the mind and um, while she's growing up she's still got a lot of growing to do a lot of learning to do she's a lovely lovely girl and we're getting there we'll see what she does when i do this again here and today she's a lot more relaxed about me doing this kind of thing head on the bum at the back not so worried about that at all. What about this side? Bit of a rub. Give him a bit of a rub with your leg. On the back. The flies are bothering her. But she's not really bothered by what I'm doing. Now I'm going to go back. Get up the back. And that's probably the best we've done so far. Look at that. Here's forward. She's not worried about me at all being on her butt. Not at all. This side. Oh, what a good girl. And I'm not worried today. This is amazing because usually when I'm doing that, I'm feeling frightened. But today she's giving me such a calm vibe. I'm not feeling afraid at all. I'm feeling very much as if She's just nice and chilled out and relaxed. So let's keep moving our feet. What a good girl. We might even just go for a quick ride out and then finish up. So I'm going to take her out for a bit. See how we go. I'll just pop off for a second. Oh. Oh, you're so clever. Okay, thanks for watching.